This isn't a humbucker. This is two single coils next to each other in a humbucker slot. So good. You might be thinking, why bother? But a humbucker in the neck can often be a bit muddy, especially if you're going to put drive on them. I don't really like the sound of a split humbucker. It just doesn't quite sound as good as a single coil ever. So I'm going to show you how I did this on various types of guitars and there's a cheap way of doing it and there's an expensive way of doing it and I'm going to show you both. Now this is the prototype and these pickups cost £19 off of Amazon. As you can see they're just screwed to a humbucker plate. This is pretty much a design. The only downside of these is that they're all different sizes. So the one's 48mm, one's 50mm, one's 52 You really want them all the same size. It does work though if you've got different size ones, it's just not ideal. Something to be aware of, These the reason I chose these is that they've got Alnico 5 magnets, so the slugs are magnetic. You don't want a bar magnet on the back or it's just not going to fit on the plate properly. One more surprising thing about these is they've got a lot of copper on them. I haven't actually listened to these yet, I built a prototype about 10 minutes before I made the finished one. And a lot of copper is a sign that they're probably a good pickup. Generally on cheaper pickups they really skimp on the copper, so if it's got hardly any copper, probably not going to sound good. Once you've got your chosen pickups, you need a humbucker base plate which has the right spacing. So if you're using 50mm pickups, you need a 50mm spacing. But to be honest, the 50mm worked with 48, 50 and 52. Uh, not ideal, but it does work. A nickel plate does sound better than brass. So if you're going to buy one of these, buy nickel. You will want to put tape over most of the base plate and any pieces of metal where there's solder or a bit of cable on show. Otherwise, it's going to ground out on the base plate and it won't make a sound. So just make sure none of these solder joints or bits of exposed copper wire touch the base plate. You can just wrap the whole thing in tape. You don't need to, but just most of it, to be honest. One thing you may need to do, because this bit sticks out quite far each side, and you're going to have two of these on this, they're wider than this plate, as you can see. And this plate has a raised lip. So what I did was cut a rectangle of a spare pit guard, so it raised it up as a packer. Anything will do, anything that's about three or four mil thick just so these sit flush. Also because I used a plastic pit guard, it works as a bit of insulation between the pickup and the plate. So it packs it up, makes the pickup sit flush, and it stops it grounding out. I still did put tape on quite a lot of the humbucker base plate just to stop it grounding. Just use your normal humbucker base plate screws to fit it all to the base plate. It's worth pre-drilling stuff as you go. It just makes your life easier. You will notice that the side of these pickups stick past the edge of the base plate, so you probably will need to take a small amount of material out from the guitar body. Maybe not at all on a Strat, to be honest, because they're all often routed out for humbuckers anyway. On a Tele, probably. Uh, if you're doing a body-mounted one, like on my Chapman, this was a bit of a nightmare, but it's doable. You just have to make it so the pickup can go in and back on itself. Um, and then you have to repaint the inside of the cavity just to hide it all. Looks good when it's done, though. And this is where the second design comes in. So the first design uses your normal Strat style of pickups. This works perfectly, it's fine. This uses your Jaguar style pickups. So the ends of the wind of the copper on the pickups terminate at each end of the pickup. But they don't have that bit sticking out. So when you fit them to the humbucker plate, they just fit on nicely. So it makes your life quite a lot easier, to be honest. And I called up the guys from Bare Knuckle Pickups to do this. And I spoke to them and explained what I wanted. And then Ben at Bare Knuckle said, I don't think that's a good idea. It's likely that you'll damage or you'll break the pickup. And I said, I know, but I'm going to do it anyway. And it was actually Ben at Bare Knuckle that suggested using the smaller style of bobbin so it fitted on the humbucker plate like this. This was far easier. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it on a body mounted pickup. That was a bit of a nightmare. If you're going to do it, this is a far easier design. I also used two different types of pickups. So I've got in the neck a 50 style and in the middle position. I know it's right next to it, but the, this is the middle. This is a 60 style. So I've got two completely different sounding pickups. This is just so cool, this guitar. Honestly, I love it. The good thing about these pickups is they're both 52 mil spacing, which means I bought a nickel plate with 52 mil spacing, screwed through the bottom. I did tape everything up so nothing grounded out. The only difficult part is you've got to run four cables along the cable run. So you've got to like note which cables came from which pickup or you get confused and probably wire it up wrong. So just put a bit of colour tape on it, that's what I did, and then you know which is which. It's worth noting that this design is 5mm deep in your normal humbucker, so that's about a quarter of an inch. So take that into account, so it'll either sit 5mm higher, so you've got to set it further in. You can adjust that on the spring, so it's just something to bear in mind. You're going to want to pause and screenshot the wiring diagrams I'm about to show you. So here's one for wiring a strap with this HSS design, and here's one for doing it on a telly. I used 550k pots for this, 500k pots should be fine, and a 0.22 capacitor. We're going to listen to how it sounds in all the positions, I do think I've done position four wrong because it sounds like it's out of phase, but I don't like position four, so I couldn't care less. This is the neck pickup.
so good. This is neck and middle, so both positions on my pretend humbucker. Position three, which is the middle pickup. Position four, which I think I've accidentally wired out of phase. Let's just do the same thing. Yep, and position five is the humbucker, so. This is so good. Genuinely, this is the best mod I've done to any guitar ever. I wouldn't do it to more guitars, otherwise they're all too similar, but this is so cool. One thing to bear in mind is this is 24 frets, which means where this is situated is further back than it would be on a 22 fret guitar. And that means that this pickup sits exactly between where your normal strat neck and middle pickup would be. It's like having a sort of two pickups between where they would be. So that's gonna change the sound a bit. I don't care, it sounds fantastic. And I do think it's worth having two different style pickups. So you've got different sounds because they're so close together. It's just something to bear in mind. And check this video out where I compare the difference between brass and nickel bass plates on your humbuckers. It makes a huge difference to the sound. And I sort of did it as a joke, but now I'll only have nickel bass plates because it just sounds so much better. If you've got a muddy humbucker, try changing the bass plate to a nickel one if it doesn't already have it. Just trust me on that. And a nickel cover, but that's another video. Thanks for watching.